Welcome back towners. Today we're going to make a black and red snapper with a coconut cream sauce. Let's get it. All right, guys, to start off this recipe, uh, we have our fish here. We have uh, two fillets of a uh, red snapper. Um, we got this from the farmer's market. And a uh, quick story, um, the fillets were on sale. They were fresh fish on sale for $7.99 a pound. But then they also had some frozen fillets on sale for $11.99 a pound. I was like, I'll just go with the, with the fresh fillets. It's, it's a fresh fish. It's fresh, cheaper. Uh, but it was the whole fish, the head, fins, tail, all that. And I was like, I just want the fillets because they have options of a top where you can select how you want it. You can get it just butterfly down the middle, head on, head off. Uh, but all of the options that they had, you would still have a spine, skin, fins, tail, all that still on it. So at the butcher, I could just get two fillets. He was like, yeah, just go to the front register and pay and bring back the receipt and then I'll fillet it for you. So I did that and he handed me the bag and it was this small little bag of fish. And I was like, what's this? And he was like, it's just a fillet. You still have to pay for the whole rest of the fish. And I'm like, man, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure they, cause they had options of selling heads and all that other stuff. So I'm pretty sure they just resold all of that. But that was that. Um, but <laughs> for our fish, uh, we seasoned the first half of it. And then I just sprayed the top of it with some cooking spray to make sure everything was able to stick to it. We put it in the pan. We have our pan here and we uh, heat it up with some olive oil on some medium high heat, put our uh, fillets in the pan and uh, I'll show you what we season. We basically season the both sides with the same thing. Uh, we added in some uh, kosher salt, some black pepper, some lemon pepper seasoning, some Italian seasoning, Creole seasoning and some paprika. And uh, we cooked this um, on the first side for about two minutes. We added some butter to the pan to get some additional flavor on it to it. After the two minutes, uh, we flipped it over, added some more butter to it, and then cooked it for an additional two to three minutes. And then flipped it over again just to seal in the other side. And at that time, it was basically done. Uh, this fish cooks very quickly. I'm over high heat. And we then removed it from the pan. We got a lot of flavor in this pan. So we popped in our uh, onions and bell peppers and sauteed that up for about a good two minutes. We wanted to get all the bits and pieces of all the flavor from the bottom of the pan. That's not burnt, that's some good flavor in there. You know the usual suspects, jalapenos on everything. Added that to the saute that up a bit. Then we added in our coconut milk. Um, I could have transferred this to another pan at this point. Um, but, but I didn't. I mean, it, <laughs> I wanted all that flavor in it. If I transferred another pan, the, the sauce would have been uh, whiter, cleaner looking sauce, but it didn't bother me at all. I want all that flavor in it. Sauteed that up to reduce it down. And we tasted the sauce and realized it needed some flavor because it was unsweetened coconut milk. So we added some salt and some sugar substitute to it. And uh, once it reduces down to your liking, you can remove from the heat. I, could, I reduced it down a lot. So I wanted all that flavor compacted on mine. Uh, once it's to the level you like and you can uh, go ahead and top that over your fish we have our fish plated here and we're putting in our uh, onions bell peppers and jalapenos over top of it with our coconut cream sauce and this is how our fish looked coming out of the pan and plated and everything um, it looks great <laughs> it, it tasted great also um, red snappers it's a mild fish doesn't have that strong of a, a fishy taste to it or anything but all the flavors came through great. Um, the um, salt, pepper, lemon pepper, uh, Creole seasoning, Italian seasoning, paprika, everything. You can taste all of the flavors um, in the fish and in, in, in the crust. And then the toppings that we had, the onions and bell peppers and jalapenos um, with the coconut milk brought that sweet, spicy taste to it as well. Uh, this uh, Here we are getting a little piece of it. You can see it's still uh, flaky still flavorful uh, juice is still in it not dried out or anything and uh, the the taste was good the, uh, the coconut milk it did bring that little sweetness to it we had to add some a little bit of sugar to it because it was unsweetened coconut milk uh, but that with the jalapenos gave me that little, little bit of heat to it and um, 
it was great I, I don't have any complaints about this one um now to uh, to serve this we uh we serve this with some coconut uh the coconut uh, so, uh ah, the coconut cauliflower rice that we made in the previous video i'll post a link to that also but uh, if anyone has any comments or questions as always leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you guys for watching enjoy Enjoy and please subscribe and enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.